What's up, guys? How y'all doing? So, uh, got this little treat I'm about to make up to uh, share with everybody. So, my friend Mark the other day about different little treats that we like eating on, you know, like uh, trail mix and stuff like that. And I told him about uh, candy corn and peanuts. That's one of my favorite things. I had it this past Halloween and pretty much I got addicted to it, right? So, can't really fit that into many macros with all them fats and carbs and everything. So I was trying to figure out a way, you know, how I can macro this out and, you know, make it fit. This is what I came up with. I'm about to try it out right now. I haven't even tried it out yet. So I'm going I'm to bake these cookies up <laughs> and see how everything works out, all right? So I was thinking, all right, I'll mash up some of that uh, myomo.com PB Lean that I have here. And some of that peanut butter fluff from MTS. And of course, I got me a serving of candy corn gains right there. Stuff looks good, huh? Plus some egg whites, flax seeds, shit like that. You know, just make a nice little gooey cookie. So I'm gonna turn the camera down over there, show y'all how to mix this stuff up. I'm gonna throw it in the oven on 370, it looks like I have it on. And you know, anywhere from 350, 375, somewhere around there. Um, probably do it for about eight minutes, I'm guessing. Maybe seven, eight minutes, somewhere around there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And uh, pull them out, let them cool down, and we'll try them bad boys out. It should be good. Later. All right, guys. So as you can see, I already got everything measured out. I've got about 14 grams of uh, grounded up flax seed here. Check it out. There you go. Toss it in there. I'm gonna put it with the other dry ingredient, which is gonna be the the uh, PB fluff from MTS. Just one serving, it's like 36 grams. Stick it in there, and now I'm gonna give it a nice little blend so everything's all blended up together. Now, I don't know if y'all know about flaxseed or not, but ground up flaxseed with like a little bit of water, it kinda like, uh, kind of mimics like an egg so like if you're baking cookies or cake or something and it requires an egg or something you can always use some flaxseed in there instead of uh, instead of actually using an egg and it'll work out the same if I'm a spatula so I can get all my peanut butter out what I did was um, I took three servings of my PB lean and I reconstituted it with some water. And so I'm gonna stick that in there, and then I'm gonna do I don't know, about 50 grams of egg. And 46, 50 grams around there. Let's check out what I land on. And I'll just go with that. There you go. 47 grams. Yeah, like that. So I'm gonna put that in there. Got to tap it to get all that get all that uh, residuals out. Man, it's gonna be good, guys. I don't know if y'all have ever tried this, but that sweet and that saltiness. Now it's not gonna have the crunch. I could throw some peanuts in there, or whatever. But I'm just gonna do it like this first. See what's up. That salty peanut and uh, that sweet candy corn man i love candy corn if you love candy corn and y'all like doing like a little cheat meal or whatever get some candy corn and get some peanuts and go to town man be yellow all day long tasty as fuck as what some of them guys out there say <laughs> okay so i got my peanut butter in there now Get this all whipped up. Now, if you don't mind added fats, you know, instead of using PB Lean, you could go with, uh, you can go with a whole peanut butter or whatever, but, and you know what? That PB Lean, it's tasty shit. It's nice and lean, so you get your fats from somewhere else. That's the way I look at it, because it tastes just as good as peanut butter. It cooks just as well. So, uh, why not just use it 
you know, and throw some chocolate up in there or something for some fat. Have some chocolate peanut butter cookies or something like that. If you don't, you know, if you don't, if you don't want the candy corn or shit, do candy corn and peanut butter and uh, some chocolate. And throw some nuts in there. You do all kind of shit. But I'm gonna try and keep on kind of POV. This would be some lean stuff. Well, I think all the cookies probably make about 12, 10, 12 cookies, somewhere around there. And it'll have like, uh, I don't know, it'll have like about 11 grams of fat. And with all these, with all these candy corns, we're probably looking at about 65 grams of carbs. And I don't know, about 25, 30, about 30, about 30 grams of uh, protein. 33 grams of protein, somewhere around there. I don't know, I'll figure it out, get all the macros put up. All right, so I've got all this whipped up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these I'm gonna spray this down with some uh, pan butter. I'm gonna set these on the pan, on the butt, on the pan, and I'm gonna top them with this because these you don't want these touching the hot pan. If you do, as it's cooking in there, even though it's going for only eight minutes, that hot pan's gonna be fucking hot as shit, and it's gonna melt these things down and like kind of caramelize them and burn them. It's not good. So you want to get your cookies down, and then you want to set these on top of there so it gets all nice and good. I'm gonna get those set up and in the oven. When I pull them out, we'll see how they look. Alright guys, so the cookies are all done, they're nice and cooled down, check it out, this is half a serving right here, you get about 9 cookies out of what I made. So for these 9 cookies, you're looking at 45 grams of protein, 70 carbs, and 12 fats, not bad at all, right? Let's check this out. So there's one cookie right here, I weighed it out, you're looking at like 1.5 grams of uh, fat. Eight carbs and five proteins. Let me check it out. Let's see how good this is. That's some good stuff. On the PB Lean, I used the pumpkin spice, which made it even more kind of like a fall Halloween flavor, along with them uh, candy corns. We baked it on 270 for five and a half minutes and I pulled it out. Worked out good. Look at that. See how chewy it is up in there? Mmm. That's it. That's a good cookie, guys. You gotta try that shit out. The only problem is I don't know how I'm not, I'm not gonna eat these the rest tonight. Because they're not going to fit the rest of the night. That's all, guys. Let me know what you think below. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share, and like. All right, guys? That like helps me out. Later.